Welcome back to Homa Studio to our 12th installment of working with Flask and MySQL in Python Anywhere. And in this video, we're going to start to create a form to actually insert more records into our MySQL database using the front end. So what I'll do first is kind of show you an example of what it should look like. This is an older example, but this is what we're going to try to do here. It's not a really nice form that I have set up here, but I just wanted to make sure it works. So let's just take a look at this first. So in this example, you can see I added a poppy puff and I forgot the color field. So we'll make sure we put in a color field this time. So we're going to create a new character. We'll just make one up and I'm just going to put in Sean Sharky and his species will be a shark and I guess he's gray and his age let's just say he's 17 he's a teenager troublemaker hanging around with the wrong crowd and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add character and there it goes and there's Sean Sharkey he's been added and you can see he's in another color because it's a new row that's been added there so that's pretty much what we're gonna do so let's go back and pick up where we left off. Now here's our index page in our templates folder in Python Anywhere. And here's our table. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our, let me move this over, we're going to put our form underneath the table. So we're just going to put it right below. Now instead of typing it all in here, which is a little bit of a pain in Python Anywhere, I'm going to go to Replit and use some of the tools in there to make it a little quicker. And I'll create a new repel. I'll do HTML, CSS, JS. We could just use a generic repel. And I'll go in here, get rid of the hello world stuff, and we'll just build our form. So I'll just type form and hit tab. My cursor in there is asking for an action. So just for now, let's just put in index.html. We're going to change that because we have to use URL4. But I'm just going to put that in there now. And we can also use method equals post. We'll put it in all caps and then I'll move form down here and inside our form what we're going to do is put a label. So we'll do label and it's coming up for and that's what we want. So I'll hit tab and I'm going to put label for and I'll just start with F name because that's what we called our field. We had F name, L name, species, color and age and we're not going to put in ID because we already have the ID auto generated. So we have to put in something here, so we'll type it the way it should look. So we'll just put first first name, and we'll put a colon. So that's our label. Now that's going to be four, and we're going to use the ID of F name. ID could also be used for JavaScript. So now we're going to do an input. So I'll put input, and I'll hit tab. Type will be text. That's what we want. And some other attributes we'll put in here. We'll put ID equals. We should have the same F name. And then from the database, we want the name. So we're going to put name equals F name. And then after that, we could put one more attribute. We'll just put required. We'll just put that in there. We just have to type required. So that's what we want. Now, what we could do is just copy these. We don't have to keep doing these over, but make sure that you change them. So if you run this, you should see a field like that. And that's what it should look like. Now, it's not going to look really great. And we're even going to put a line break in just to put it on two lines. But we have the first one. Let's do the second one. I'll move this back. This one will be L name. So make sure you change all these L name. Make sure this is last. Make sure this is L name. Make sure that's L name. And then I'll continue to do these for species, color, and age. So you don't have to watch me do every one. I'm just going to copy them and do them two at a time. Okay, so we have all these in here and make sure that you update them all. So make sure you have F name, L name, species, color, and age. Make sure these all match up. F name, F name, L name, L name, species, species, color, color, age, age. So that looks okay. The one last thing we'll do here is we'll put button, button, and then I'll just hit tab. It didn't give me a type, so I'll just go in here and put type equals submit. And what should be on the button is just a little label that says add character. Just put that right in there. And that looks like it's spelled right. So that's all we should need. So this stuff we're going to copy back to Python Anywhere. So just make sure it's all looks OK. It's just easier to type it in here. I'm going to copy this, the whole form element. I'm going to copy this with a Command C or Control C. And I'll go here after the table and paste it. And actually, after the table, I'm going to put an H2. I'll put H2, and I'll put an insert character. 
So let's make sure I have that spelled right. Character, character. Again, over here, if you run it, that's what it should look like. Now, it doesn't look very good now, and I think that's all in one line. So what we'll do is we'll put like a break, uh, maybe before species. We could put a line break, so that first name, last name, or after species, and then there's three and three. So we'll do that. So we'll go down here after species, and before the label, I'll go right here, and I'll just put br, and I'll do two of them, and I'll see what that looks like. And we have our h2 that says insert character. Now before we get this to function yet, we're just going to see what this looks like because we have to change this. And actually, let's change this right now because what we're going to do is let's just take this whole thing right here, this whole URL for, we're going to copy that, and we'll put it here. Now, I'm not sure about this if we have to put like templates and then you have to put file name index.html. I'm not sure. We're going to try it out because last time I did it, I just put in index and that's the only thing I put in here. I didn't put templates or anything like that, but I'm going to stick with the way that has it. Now, maybe we don't need that, but that's okay. But if not, then we'll just change this and put it back and just put index in here. But for now, I'm going to keep it the same way this is because that's the way it is there and that worked. So I'm going to leave this for, for now, but we may be taking out templates, taking out file name equals, and just leaving index in there. Because the last time I did it, I just used index in there, but I'm curious to see why it wouldn't work this way. So we'll try that out. Now, it's not going to function yet because we're not doing anything, but we can take a look at it. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to open up my web in a new tab. I could close this up, and I'll just reload. And then once it reloads, I'll open this up in a new tab as well. And just see what it looks like. We'll just go here and refresh it. And I'm getting an internal server error. And let's see what we did wrong. We have a table, we have an H2, we have our form. I'm not sure if this is creating any problem. I don't think I did anything else wrong here. Form action equals, let me just take this out for now. I'm just going to take it out and just cut it. And I'll save it again. And I'll go here and I'll refresh. And now it worked. <laughs> I paused the video, but I had to do that shift refresh again. I'm not sure why I'm having to do that, and I almost forgot that from the last video. I had to do shift refresh, and that looks okay. So this looks okay right now, so this works. I just didn't do a shift refresh. I'm not sure if that was even the problem when I go to my index page. I'm going to see if I can undo this, or I paste that back in there and then save it, because I don't think that was creating the problem. But let's just go back here and let me reload and refresh and let me hold down shift. Now I'm getting that again. I'm holding shift, doing a slow refresh. So maybe that is a problem. So <laughs> uh, there were two problems. One, I wasn't refreshing. So let me take this out. This may be creating a problem. I'll cut it and I'll save it. And then I'll reload and then I'll go back here. I'll hold shift and refresh. So now it looks okay. So that is a problem. So what I said here initially, leaving this out, that was a problem. And then I also forgot to hold shift and do a force refresh. And again, if you're on Windows, look up doing a force refresh on Windows or whatever browser you're using. So, and I'll leave this out for now. And then we'll put that back. We could just copy it from here. Again, when I did it last time, I just did this. I actually did this and it'll be worth checking out to see if this is a problem. I just did this and I didn't have any of this stuff in here. I just had index and it worked. It just was index like that. I didn't have to have the, the folder name. I didn't have to have file name or anything like that. Let me just see if this creates any problem. If it does, then we know we can't use this yet because it's, it's, it's looking to, I don't know, maybe it's looking at that or maybe just the code was bad. I guess we'll find out. Just to make sure that everything's okay here, I'm gonna save that and I'll reload again, and I'll hold down shift. Well, let me just refresh. Now, that worked. That time it worked without doing a force refresh. So that's okay right now. We'll probably have some problem if we try to add a character. So we're not going to do anything yet. We're not going to add anything to our database, but we're going to do that in our next video. But we just wanted to get this set up first. So that's all I wanted to have set up here. And a couple things. We just set up a form. 
Uh, we have to use it looking like this with just indexed using the URL4 just like we used up here except we're not putting in the folder name or the directory name and we're not putting in file name equals and we're not putting the extension. So we're just doing it like that because we're getting an error. I'll try to find out more information on why that is, but I assume because it's in a templates folder, it's looking for just something like that, and that's it. So that's it for this video. In our next video, and it might be two videos, because it'll be a little more detailed once we get into our SQL and Python for inserting information. But this is kind of our HTML is all set up. So this is good. So what we're going to do next is work in our Python file. And then we'll then we'll go here and we'll put in something and we'll make sure it adds to our database. But we have a little more complex code than we've done in the past that we're going to have to do in our Python file using Flask. So that's coming up in our 13th installment. Thanks for watching Home Studio. Mm -hmm.